Hello and welcome back. In this video, uh, I think what we should do is go ahead and update our uh, our records. Um, so we're going to create our update method uh, in our DB wrapper. All right. So to get going in this, what we're going to do is uh, first I'm going to go back and refresh the page again. And when I do that, it should insert this row once again. So now I have two rows exactly the same, except for ID obviously is incremented. And um, the reason I'm doing that is because later we're going to actually delete a row. Um, but first, updating rows. Let's get, let's get going. So let's jump right in to um, our DB class here. And underneath our insert method, I'm going to create another method that we're going to call update. Okay, and update is going to be pretty, uh, should be pretty easy. Um, well, it'll be really similar to our insert, except for we need to know the table. We also need to know the ID, and then we also need fields, and we're going to set them into params here. So we need fields, ID, and a table. All right. So, field string, again, we'll just do this here. And then we'll say values equal to an empty array. And then we'll, we'll loop through these. So for each uh, fields as field value. And then we'll say so let's what do we, let's get a like a game plan here. So SQL, what do we want this thing to look like? So an update query looks like update uh, contact set, um, and then we got some sort of uh, set. I don't know f name equals Antoinette. And then we'll have a where clause where ID is equal to two, something like that. So that's what the ultimate goal is here. Um, and so uh, what we need to do is in our for each, we're going to build up our field string. Okay. And we're going to say field string dot equals. And um, this will. What we're going to do is add a space to the beginning, and then we're going to concatenate on field. Oh. And concatenate on field, and then we will say equals so we got field name equals and then we're going to put in question mark because again this is going to be bound and then we're going to do a, a comma okay so there's our field string and then the other thing we need to do is update the values or add to our values array so values value. okay then what we want to do is we'll say Field string is equal to trim field string. Okay. And that takes away the extra white space at the beginning and the end. And then what we'll do is do an R trim on field string and we're going to get rid of that last comma. Okay. So probably a better way to do this, but you know, this is the way my unsophisticated mind thinks about it, so this is the way we're doing it. All right, so then we'll jump down with say SQL update. Uh, we can replace contact here with our table. And then we're going to replace all of this here. Okay. Replace all of that with field string where ID equal to 
ID. Okay. And then what we're going to say is uh, we'll run our query on this. So if not this query, and that gets the SQL statement, and then our values will be bound on to the end of that. Error. Turn true. Else we're going to turn false. All right, so that's our update uh, method. Um, that should work. So let's test it. Um, back on the home page now. I'm just going to update this and we'll do the emails we'll say net at shark lasers and I'm gonna leave the last name the same so we got two elements in this array now and um, here instead of our insert we're gonna call the update and then uh, this gets in addition to the table this is going to get an ID, um, so this looks like we'll update the third one. So I'm gonna say three. All right, so if I refresh the page now, that update method should run. And if I go back to the database and refresh, uh, you can see that it did work. It updated where ID is three, uh, Antoinette, and then it left last name alone, and then updated the email. So we could have added any number of fields and we've updated all of them um, so that's good everything's working so far so good that is going to be our update method let's see how much time okay we have time I think to go ahead and do the delete uh, method while we're here um, it's a lot simpler and so let's go ahead and jump right into that so let's jump back in our DB class here so we have our insert update and now we have our delete method so public function delete and delete uh, needs two things it needs a table and it needs an ID that's not to be. All right. so this is pretty straightforward I mean our SQL statement looks like this, uh, delete from contacts where ID is equal to um, our ID. So we just pass it ID here, All right? And then we can replace contacts with table. So delete from table where ID is equal to ID. Um, and then what we can do is say if not this query, then we pass an SQL error return true, else we're going to return false. All right, so. That's it. That's our entire uh, delete method. So let's test that now. And I'm going to just delete the second row here. So the way this works, I can get rid of, we don't need fields right now. And we say delete, uh, db delete now from contacts. And we don't need the fields. It just gets two parameters. And I just said I was going to delete the second one. Refresh. We'll go back here now. If you look in a database, we have a second row. If this works correctly, um, and I refresh, it deletes that second row with that ID of two from the context table. So perfect. We have our insert, insert update, delete uh, records. And in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up uh, some of our getters and the way that we can grab the results. So a few more really small methods in our next video. And then we'll do one more video, I think, on the DB wrapper because I want to add um, a couple additional uh, methods uh, that will make it nice for us to uh, basically run one line of code to grab records. So we'll just make our read functions uh, our methods in, in the following video. So I'll see you there, 
and I uh, hope you're having fun.